Okay, here's a look at the HT, and I'm going to try and explain what's going on with it. It has to do with the SD card. When you insert the SD card, it's supposed to click and, you know, be able to be put into the slot. So let me show you what happens. You open the, you open the side of the HT, which is very easy to do. There's the card slot. The card goes in with the contacts facing the front of the HT. You can put it in the card slot, and you can. It, it, there's a lot of resistance. Okay, there's a lot of resistance. It's hard to push it in. Then you can push it in as far as you can, and sometimes it will stick down, and sometimes it won't. Now, is that connected? Hard to say. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I'll turn the HT on. And we'll go into the menu and see if we can find out if the... Uh, I have to turn it upside down here. <laughs> see if we can find out if it's actually connected. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. So I'll click on SD card. And we will go and get memory info. And yes, this time it's connected. That's a good thing. But half the time when you put it in, uh, it's not connected. So I'll take that back to the main menu. Okay, now we'll turn the HT off, and I'll show you what I mean about trying to get the card out. Now, the problem is, sometimes when you put it in, it doesn't act, you'll get a message that says, card not there, no card inserted, or something like that. Uh, the next time, you might put it in, and if you hold pressure on it, it will work, but the minute you take your finger off, it won't. So, now I want to get the card out. And you push on it, which is not easy to do. You need a fingernail. And it doesn't really come out. It doesn't look like it came out at all. And to get it out, there's no way anybody could pull it out with their fingers. So I use a small pair of pliers on the card. And you pull, and it is very hard to get out. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. So... That doesn't seem normal to me, and I, I'm concerned about that. This is a Samsung Evo card, brand new. I bought it for the HT. It plugs into both my FTM 300 over there and my FTM 400, and it, it works fine with them. And I took the card out of the FTM 300 and put it in this uh, HT and still had the same problem. So it seems that it's physically something with... The card slot itself, and I don't know if I can get any closer to show you. There doesn't appear to be anything blocking it. There you can see. Nothing unusual about it. The HT is right out of the box. Brand new. I'll try and put the card slot back in. And, uh, you know, whether or not it works. There's resistance getting it in, too. It, it, it's like it doesn't really... It, it, it's like something... Uh, like the card slot's too narrow or something like that. Um, very difficult. There. There. But now, in, in order to get it in, I have to put a lot of pressure on it because it just doesn't... You just can't put it in the way you would expect. And then it pops out a little bit and... It either works or it doesn't, and who knows. So that's the story, and uh, I don't know if that's normal or not, but maybe you can take a look at one there and tell me if that's the way it's supposed to work. In the manual, it says there's supposed to be a click uh, when you put it in and out, and of course, you know, I've got a lot of things with this, micro SD card slots in them, and they all latch in and out. There's no problem with it. Uh, but this one is very, very different.